TV Nation. Thank you for joining us in this live stream. Today we're going to show you how to add a hamburger icon uh, toggle to your Divi menu module inside the Divi Theme Builder. So if you're not an Elegant Themes member yet, make sure that you check out Divi in one of the links in the description below. And without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so I want to say hi to everyone on YouTube and Facebook. If you guys have questions, make sure to leave a comment and I'll be checking um, on those quite frequently. So let's get started. Over here, um, I have a preview of what we're going to achieve within this live stream. So at the top, I have a custom build header and a hamburger icon. Now, if I click this, all of my menu items appear. And I can select a uh, an item of my choice and I can retoggle it and just like that it turns sticky too and yeah at any point you can toggle all of the menu mo menu items and have them show up in this kind of interactive way now on smaller screen sizes we just have the usual outcome so this doesn't affect smaller screen sizes where there is already a hamburger icon so let's get started with it I have a preview over here on a page that I've created and I have another page here with just the default navigation at this point and I'm going to build this exact header um, on this new page. So I'm going to go to the Divi Theme Builder in the back end of my WordPress website over here. So by going to Divi, Divi Theme Builder. Um, so I have two templates set up, one for the preview that I was able to show you guys over here and the other one is that second page where we're going to build this new header from scratch. And that's the second one, second one here. Um, I mean the third actually. So we have the default, um, the preview, and this is the one that we'll be working on. Um, so I'm going to add a custom header here by clicking on add custom header and build custom header. All right. I'm going to start building from scratch because everything will be made from scratch inside this DV tutorial. And also you'll be able to download the template. So this is a template, a header template. Um, and you are, you are able to download this JSON file for free by going to the blog post, uh, which is mentioned in the description below. And you can also find all of the uh, steps written down in that same blog post as well. So um, when entering the template editor, you already have a section there. Um, and we're going to start building inside this section. So we just need one section for this tutorial and I'm going to add a background color. I'm also going to move on to the design tab and remove all default top and bottom padding by adding zero pixels to both options. And then I can add a new row with one column. I'm going to open the settings of my row, go to the design tab, to the sizing settings, and I'm going to increase the max width to 1,280 pixels. Then I'll go to the spacing settings and I'm going to add five pixels to the top and the bottom padding just to generate a little bit of space before we add the menu module, which we'll do right now. So I'm going to add a menu module and obviously I'm going to select a logo. Let me just grab something really quick here. Next, I'll remove the background color, which is uh, by default um, white. So we're going to style this in the design tab. So I'm using pop-ins here. We're just preparing, basically, we're just preparing all of the elements that are needed to get to that outcome. But you know, once you get the approach, you'll be able to apply that to any menu module you use anywhere. So that's part one we're designing the header and in part two we'll focus on what's needed to have this functionality and we're actually almost at part two so let me just continue styling these these are the settings we're using this is the color code for the text color and also write text alignments next up we're going to change the drop down menu settings so a line color with the following color code also going to modify the icons here. So I'll add this same color to each one of these. Then I'll go to the sizing settings and I'm going to assign a max width to my logo. 
of 50 pixels. There we go. And I'm also removing the default bottom margin since we have some gutter width on our row. Um, we can manually remove the space between this module and the next module that's to come, which is going to be a code module um, that'll help us make some adjustments to how this appears and add a hamburger icon. We're also going to turn our section sticky, as you were able to see um, in the preview of this live stream and tutorial. And we'll do that in the advanced tab of our section. So stick to top and we're going to keep these default settings here. We're also changing the background color in a sticky state into just plain white and we'll add a box shadow which will be enabled uh, by default, but we're changing um, the shadow color into completely transparent in a normal state. And we're bringing that up to a little bit of transparency in a sticky state, which gives you the illusion that there's no box shadow in a normal state and only in a sticky state. All right, so now we have the foundation of our header. I'm just going to save this really quick and show you guys what we have up until now on our page. And then we can focus on uh, the functionality. Okay, so if I refresh this really quick, you can see that this is what we have. Still, all of the items are showing up as usual. Now we're going to transform that into a hamburger icon and those same items will show up as soon as we toggle this icon. So the first thing you will need to do to get there, let me just make sure that I'm in the right template here, is assigning a um, CSS ID to the menu module itself. So that way we'll be able to target it as we go and I'm going to open the menu module for that and go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes, and I'm using DB dash menu there. All right. Now that we have something that we can target, so you can target some um, default um, CSS classes that are assigned to this uh, module, but just to make sure that we're only targeting this specific menu module in case you're using more than one, uh, we've assigned a um, CSS ID. So I'm going to add a code module right below the menu module. I'm going to open the settings here and I'm going to start preparing for what we need, uh, which is some CSS code and also just a little bit of um, JavaScript jQuery. So to prepare for that, I'm going to add a style tags and script tags. So the CSS will be placed inside of the style tags and the script uh, tags will hold our uh, JavaScript code. So uh, we're starting off with the CSS code. So what we're basically doing is we're hiding the menu items and we're placing a uh, icon after it. And as soon as this will get toggled, those items will reveal. So we're we're just basically hiding all of the menu items. They're there, but you're, they're just hidden um, until you actually click the hamburger icon. And for that, you'll need the following lines of CSS code um, and CSS classes, which you are able to get by going to the blog post in the description below. So you can copy paste the code there. You can also grab the JSON file, which includes all of the code here too. Um, yeah. And next, we're going to add the code, the JavaScript code, jQuery code between the script tags. We're starting with an opening here. Um, and then we're going to define our variables. Um, again, you can find this code by going to the blog post in the description below. We're also so we're basically creating a new div, um, which is a toggle icon. 
and we're placing that after the menu. And we'll also need a click function, which we'll add right now, which states that um, as soon as this new div is clicked, we will toggle the menu items. So we place all of this code between um, the entry lines of our code. And then we can just save all the settings. And if I refresh this, there we go. It's as simple as that. And you don't need to custom uh, customize more than just the menu module itself. You can use other things to build uh, your menu. But if you want to use what you already have, which is the menu module, um, you can easily make these small kind of tweaks and just elevate um, your website design. So yeah, I'm just going to take a quick look to see if you guys have any questions. I don't see any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.